Hey guys, Joey G here, and I wanted to talk to you a little bit about the safety and uh, different uh, things you can do if you guys are building the Matrix yourself or getting WOW or myself to build a ready to fly package for you. And um, I think it's an important thing uh, that a lot of people forget about is these 15 inch props and these 400 kV motors have a lot of torque and they have a lot of power when they're spooled up. Um, Something that you guys have to remember, and, and I can't stress this enough, one of my uh, customers in the Dominican almost lost two of his fingers the other day. It was one in the morning, and he felt like updating the firmware on NASA, because NASA just came out with 4.02, and he failed to take the props off of his matrix. And when he plugged it in, even though there's warnings on the screen, he thought he was going to hold it down. The props spooled up to full power, because when you update the firmware, NASA, it spools up to full power and uh, he almost lost two of his fingers. After they attached, reattached his fingers, um, he's got a ton of carbon fiber in his hand and, uh, and uh, the props broke off. One went through his computer, another one went through a wall, um, another one went through a doorway, and he's lucky, uh, he's lucky his two young kids weren't up and, and around when this happened. So um, he did manage to get plastic surgery on his hand and uh, they, they got his fingers figured out. And, uh, but uh, I can't stress it enough, guys. Don't be lazy. Take these things off when you're plugging the battery into the matrix for any reason other than flying it. Uh, take the props off. Um, it's, it's so important that we don't, we don't necessarily talk about the safety enough. You guys see the, you know, you guys will get the papers with the order. It'll say, you know, safely uh, remove props before you plug it into the computer. But um, I can't stress it enough. I will put pictures in at the end of the video. I won't show you the gruesome injuries, even though I got them. Uh, I got pictures of the gruesome injuries, and uh, it made me, uh, I was sick about it looking at it. So um, I think it's real important that you guys uh, really know the energy that these things have when it's spooled up to full throttle. Um, I know you guys have plugged them into a computer probably a hundred times, uh, and, and you know, you've never had an issue, and especially when it's folded up. You might not have, uh, you might not have seen these things spool up, you know, with, with it. Being uh, making adjustments to NASA or calibrating your voltage or your GPS, uh, you know, changing your settings or whatever through the NASA assistant software, um, it might not have ever spooled up on you. But it's going to be the one time it does that it's going to cause damage to your body, to your house, to your computer, and uh, and it could get somebody killed in your family. So um, it's real important. Real quick, I'll figure out the. Uh, revolutions per minute. These are these are 400 kV motors. So if I open up my calculator here, that's 400 uh, revolutions per per uh, minute per volt. So if we look at 400 kV times, uh, let's be conservative and uh, look at uh, 24 volts. We're looking at 9600 RPM at full power. Um, and that's not even with a charged battery. You're looking at almost 25 volts with a charged battery. So you're looking at almost 10,000 RPMs of carbon fiber and these big 400 kV motors strike in your hand and uh, and believe me guys these things can do a lot of damage they're really strong as you guys know they're stiff it only takes two minutes to take these things off so uh, we really can't stress that enough um, another thing guys when you guys if you guys are building your own matrix kits uh, another thing to look for and, and do which I've already talked to Tom at Wah Hobbies. They're going to get on the same page with this uh, real soon. Is in their in their construction video, which I'll be doing one here shortly. They say when you guys are mounting the the uh, motors to the arms, to just use the lock washers and other washers, the flat washers, to bolt these on. Also use thread locker. These these things do. Uh, they tend to vibrate loose, and and we've already seen it with one incident. Um, where the matrix fell out of the sky because one of the motors came loose. Now, no matter how much we tighten these these bolts, you guys are responsible. You have to check them before you know each flight. Obviously, the bolts that are important, your prop bolts, uh, the motor bolts, but we uh, they have been updated now to, to put a link in their video to this video for safety. Um, so you're going to want to use thread locker on the motor bolts now, and also. Um, I can't stress it enough, guys. If you guys are updating the firmware on NASA or plugging this thing into your computer for any reason, if you're putting flight battery to it, 
take off the props. It, it's not worth it. It's not worth the damage to your house, the damage to your hands. And uh, this guy, even his wife's pissed off because his fingers are all messed up. So uh, you guys take that how you want it. But uh, I just want to let you guys know this is a, uh, it's an important safety message for all quad rotors when you're dealing with the NASA or plugging anything into a computer. Um, so take it seriously and uh, I'll show you guys a few pictures of the damage. Thank you for watching as always and uh, let me know if you guys have any questions, um, if there's anything I missed. Just remember these guys have a lot of power and uh, they're not worth uh, pissing off in the wrong way and getting bit. So um, stay tuned for more flight videos and more on the major.